One fine day, an old couple around the age of 70 walks into a lawyer's office. Apparently, they are there to file a divorce. Lawyer was very puzzled after having a chat with them. He got their story. This couple had been quarreling throughout their 40-plus years of marriage. Nothing ever seems to go right. They hang on because of their children, afraid that it might affect their upbringing. Now, all their children have already grown up, have their own family, so there's nothing else the old couple have to worry about. All they wanted is to lead their own life, free from all these years of unhappiness, from their marriage, so both agreed on a divorce. Lawyer was having a hard time trying to get the papers done, because he felt that after 40 years of marriage at the age of 70, he couldn't understand why the old couple would still want a divorce. While they were signing the papers, the wife told the husband, I really love you, but I really can't carry on anymore. I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand, said the husband. Looking at this, the lawyer asked them if they wanted to have a dinner with him. They accepted, but as soon as they sat down at the restaurant, there was a lot of awkward silence. The first dish they ordered was roasted chicken. As soon as it arrived, the man gave the drumstick to his wife and said, Take this. It's your favorite. After this, the lawyer still thought there was a chance for them. But the wife then said, This is always the problem. You always think so highly of yourself and never thought about how I feel. Don't you know that I hate drumsticks? However, she said this without knowing that the husband actually wanted to please her and that drumsticks were his favorite food, and he only wanted the best for her. That night, both of them tossed in their beds and were unable to fall asleep. The man couldn't keep quiet anymore because he was afraid of losing her and spending the remaining years of his life without her. He wanted to call her and let her know that he still loves her. He tried calling her, but she never answered. On the other side, she was feeling very sad because she wondered how he couldn't still understand her after all those years. She didn't think there was a point of talking anymore, so she just kept the phone ring because she knew it was him. However, she did not know that he had heart problems. The next day, she heard that he passed away. She immediately rushed to his place only to find his body on the couch still holding on to the phone. He suffered from a heart attack while he was trying to reach her. Even though she was sad, she had to clear his belongings. While looking through the drawers, she found an insurance policy started from their date of marriage. She was listed as a beneficiary. There was also a note that said, To my dearest wife, by the time you're reading this, I'm sure I'm no longer around. I bought this policy for you. Though the amount is only 100 k I hope it will be able to help me continue my promise that he have made when we got married. I might not be around anymore, but I want this amount of money to continue taking care of you, just like the way I will if I could have lived longer. I want you to know I will always be around by your side. I love you. Tears flowed like river. When you love someone, let them know. You never know what will happen the next minute. Learn to build a life together. Learn to love each other for who they are, not what they are. Eyes in your eyes, so let's paint the sky Stay blessed.